Hello students, today we will discuss on the topic centralization and decentralization. Authority to take decision is with one of few managers are known as centralization of authority. So the decision making power is in the hands of one of few managers itself. It refers to reservation of some authority retained at the top level management and other functions are delegated at lower levels. So when decision making power is retained with the top management whereas few responsibilities that has been delegated to the lower levels is called as decentralization. Centralization decision making power is concentrated at single point you can have a look over here how the decision making power is vested in the hands of one of you managers whereas in case of decentralized decision making power is spread out so there are three different points that you can have a look over here who actually make the decision for the enterprise Operations are carried out at lower levels as per the directions of the top level. So in centralized form of authority, the lower level managers will follow the instructions given by the top level managers. In case of decentralized, operations can be coordinated at divisional level. So in decentralized, you can have a look that each divisional head is responsible for making the, de the decisions and there is absolute coordination between various divisional levels. This is just for understanding purpose. Centralized organization structure will help in reducing cost. There's a lot of uniformity in action, personal leadership, flexibility, improved quality of work and better coordination likewise even this is good to know information for you the advantages of decentralized organizational structure distributed burden of top executives increased motivation and morale great efficiency and output quick decisions and effective control so according to lewis allen centralization is the systematic and consistent reservation of authority at central point in an organization so according to lewis allen centralization means where the authority is vested with few managers which is concentrating in the central point in an organization Likewise, Henry Fayol defines decentralization as everything which goes to increase the importance of subordinates role is decentralization. Everything that goes to reduce it is centralization. So according to Fayol, what he says is the more importance that you give to the subordinates, okay and making them responsible for the work then it is decentralization likewise if you start reducing the importance towards the subordinates or uh, to make decision then that is considered to be centralization let's look into the importance of decentralization first and foremost develops initiative among subordinates that is, lower level managers are given freedom to take decisions. Increased challenges and problems enable subordinates to become dynamic leaders. So when you have the power to take a decision, you have a lot of freedom to accept new challenges. At the same time, you are competent to take up the decisions that are related to dynamic environment resulting in becoming a dynamic leaders develops managerial talent for future 
It is a means of management education as well as an opportunity for trained manpower to use its talent in real life situation so you are not only taking decision for your business but also you are equipped and trained to take up decisions for real life situation quick decision making unlike centralization decisions are taken by immediate manager who is nearest to the point of action R approval process is quick and information cannot be distorted due to long channel quick decision is possible in decentralized form of authority because immediate managers who are nearest to the point of action can take the right decision proof decisions which are needed for the r likewise all such information cannot be lost due to long process of decision making relief to top management daily managerial works are assigned to subordinates which leaves enough time with the superiors this enables to concentrate and cooperate planning control and coordination of the activities of different departments now that the work is been decentralized okay the top level managers are left out with lot of time so what can they do during this particular time they can sit and do corporate planning control and coordination of various activities of different departments facilitates growth it enables the managers at the lower level heads to perform their full potential and also develop a sense of competition among the department such positive spirit contributes towards growth of enterprise so individual growth as well as organizational development is possible through decentralized organization structure that is it enables managers at the lower level to use their full potential their full energy okay so if they have this competitive spirit then every department every unit is striving to achieve the objectives of the organization better control decentralization makes it possible to evaluate performance at each level which results in complete control over the activities so when you have a decentralized system of authority it is possible to evaluate examine each and every levels performance and you can have a complete control over all the activities of your business so this is how decentralization plays a very important role in an organization structure so with this we complete your chapter on organizing thank you